Good day and welcome to this technical tutorial. And you all probably know ChatGPT, which seems really to be all around. And maybe you know that there are GPT or Llama based models available that run locally on your computer. And in this tutorial, we will on the first step set up GPT for all by Nomic AI with over 300, no, <laughs> with over 33,000 stars on GitHub, a really impressive project. And in addition, we will add spoken voice output. So the results created by GPT for all will not just be printed on your display, but in addition, we will use high quality natural sounding Koki TTS voices. And all of this will happen into one simple Python script locally on your desktop computer without any cloud dependency. And as you can see, there's lots of magic going on in this video. So without further ado, let's go into it. Let's start by taking a look to GitHub repository of GPT for all. So GitHub Nomic AI GPT for all. And as you can see, over 33,000 uh, stars. So congratula congratulations, Nomic AI. Uh, well done, really well done and well deserved. So let's scroll a little bit down. Uh, we see a front end, but I prefer for this tutorial the Python native way. So scrolling down to the point of Python client. And um, GPT for all offers a Python package. So let's click that official Python bindings link, which will bring you to another Nomic AI repository. So we are not more in the GPT for all repository, but now we are in the PY GPT for all repo. So uh, let's scroll down. And as we can see here, it is under active development and I totally can agree with that because during my testings within the last days, I encountered some struggling with old models and conversion of old models. So the way I will show you today might be different depending on the time you are watching this tutorial. I will use my Visual Studio code for this and being remotely connected to my MacBook Air M1 system, let's go to the Visual Studio code. In my Visual Studio code, I have created a new folder on my host system within the user home directory called GPT for all, which is empty at the moment. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to use the Python version 3.10.11. And if you watched my previous videos, I'm a fan of creating a Python virtual environment. So let's do this by running Python minus M V N dot inside this empty GPT for all directory. And as you can already see on the left navigation side, the typical Python virtual environment folders have been created. Now let's activate this by running source bin activate. And as you can see by the prefix GPT for all, I'm now into that uh, virtual directory or virtual um, environment. So let's check the pip lists pretty small, just uh, the Python package index and the setup tools. Now let's install or upgrade uh, the Python package management setup tools and wheel with that minus uppercase U for upgrade parameter. Let's check pip list again. And now we have pip setup tools and wheel in the latest versions. So let's check back the documentation. On the one side we can run pip install py gpt for all. And if we take a look to that um, Python package index org, you can see that this version, so version 011, has just been released uh, 13 hours ago. So it's really up to date, it's really fresh. So let's hope for the best. But uh, in this case, I'm going to use the clone repo method. So let's just clone the repo and switch into that newly created py gpt for all directory. So let's run it this way, paste. And I'm now inside that py gpt for all and let's run pip install dot as it's mentioned in its documentation here. And there are two ways we can run the gpt for all model or the gpt for all minus j model. Uh, I've played around with both and I have to say the first version uh, I had this struggle with uh, old models, uh, so doing some conversation, no conversation, conversion of old models 
and you have to download the transformers from Hugging Face and there has been a, some uh, spelling issue. I will put some links in the description box if you have a uh, struggle on converting old models. But um, in this case, I'm going to use this GPT for all minus J model. And here we have a uh, download location. So let's download this model from here and move it in our directory. Once the download is finished and you have moved the file to a proper location, um, we can take this small code snippet here and go back to our development environment. Let's first of all again check pip list. And as we can see now, the list is definitely longer um, than just setup tools, wheel, and pip. We can see this pygpt for all in the version 011. And you might be familiar if you played around with earlier versions with that py llama C, C++ or CPP uh, in its latest version 106. I've played around with that in earlier tests, but let's go with this uh, pygpt for all and let's again take this to our clipboard, copy. And as you can see, I've downloaded and moved this uh, bin model file in our root directory. Now let's create a new file. Let's say test py and just paste this one here and adjust the path. So I've not moved it to a model subdirectory, but it's up to you. So let's just remove the models subdir, save it. Oh, by the way, the file name is a little bit different, so let's or let's make sure the file name is correct. So, and now let's just give it a try by running Python test. No, I'm in the wrong directory, so let's move one directory up. Here's the test py. So let's just run Python test py and see what's happening. So looking good as you can see, before adding Koki TTS to speak the synthesized results, let's first make a little adjustment and let's write the generated text into a variable, so call text equals model and just print text. So this should be identical. Okay, so working the same way. Now let's install the latest Koki TTS package by running pip install TTS. Please make sure you still are in your Python virtual environment. So installation of TTS Python package successful. Let's check again pip list. And we have a TTS package in the latest version 0.13.3. And to give this one a try, let's just simply run TTS, for example, list models to get a list of all available text-to-speech models. Here's the list. So let's go up to the TTS models And I personally prefer this English LJ speech dataset based with Neil model, uh, which I already have downloaded. So, and now let's add the TTS magic <laughs> to our simple test Python script. To do so, we first of all have to import our TTS package. So let's add import tts.api uh, and from there the TTS package. So then let's go below the output, the uh, below the printed output and let's simply run TTS equals uppercase TTS then our model name and the model name is with Neon model. So let's just copy it from here. Copy, 
paste. And let's run TTS. TTS to file method. Text is text. To make it a little bit clearer, let's make it here out text, out text, and this text is out text. So by default, this will create an output WAV file within the current subfolder. So let's just save this one and give it a try. So let's run Python test py. Okay, what's wrong? Ah, from. So from TTS API import. So okay. First of all, the text is created, and now the TTS model will create the result. And here we are. So as you can see on the left navigation side, we now have an output WAF file. So let's click this one and see what we got. Once upon a time, in the land of the free, there lived a brave little bee who loved to explore and see the beauty of the world that lay before he. He buzzed and hummed around on the flowers so, as you can see and hear, we now created a new text using GPT for all and synthesized that audio in a really high quality natural voice using Koki TTS in one simple Python script. And all of this, and really all of this, is done locally on your computer. So, no cloud for processing this cool magic. I mean, how cool is that? Please let me know in the comments if I'm the only one who's loving this. So really a big shout out to Nomic AI, to Koki TTS, of course, obviously. And now let's make it even a little bit better by adding a natural output in the Python script. So without the need to play the output WAV file, but we can add a direct played WAV output. For that, let's just install two more dependencies. So on the one side, we need um, WAV and Pi Audio. Let's go back to our test Python script and import wave sys and pi audio and here let's create a snippet i've uh, this is not my own so i've taken this from probably stack overflow so but let's open the wave file open oh come on okay that that's too obvious this is too obvious but now, if there's another mistake, then I'm going to search for the original script and we'll take it directly from there. Once upon a time, there was a land where the people were kind and peaceful. Their customs were rich, their food was divine, and their days were filled with love and sunshine. But one day, a strange thing happened in this land. Now we have the the text synthesized, no, the text generated by GPT for all, spoken with Koki TTS and um, directly played by using uh, Wave and Pi audio dependencies and uh, some sort of I'm unable to, um, to type correctly. Thank you all. I hope you like it. If it is so, please 
subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumb up and please let me know in the comments what you think on this video and the topic in general. That's all, have a nice day and if you like, we might see us next time. Bye!